Alright folks, how you doing? G'day, g'day. Um, okay, so uh, I've got a thousand, thousand, at least a thousand different projects on the go at the minute, uh, and none of them I can finish. So the only logical thing to do is to start the uh, one thousand and first uh, project. Um, what? Uh, we're going to make a oil transfer, waste oil transfer pump, yeah, using something like this. Uh, this is a a vein type pump, rotary rotary oil pump, really meant for clean oil, but it works absolutely fine waste oil. But either way, um, I've got that, and uh, I'm bored of cranking it. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll have a very, very nice simple project. We'll put a um, windscreen motor, motor driving that pump, and I wanted a fucking cameras fogging up already, isn't it? That time of the year again, folks. <laughs> and cocktails for two. Down that trail. Mike knew the trail was a loop, and even if the man he pursued went down it, Mike would get ahead of him. As it was, he continued limping down the west trail, hoping. Jimmy's top tip of the day when making uh, homemade hose barbs huh? cut your thread before <laughs> before you cut the material because uh, obviously these pipe pipe threaders go on the pipe that way cut the thread that way so uh, it's, yeah impossible to hold it if you if you cut a Cut a nipple first. Well, not impossible, obviously, because I just managed, didn't I? But, uh, you know what I mean? It would have made my life a lot easier if I'd have just left it on the bar, on the stock. There we go. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that should go straight into the into the oil pump now. We have to make a slightly larger one for the inlet side. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Forgot that wasn't pulled together. Ken Hughes, uh, where's this guy? Oh yeah. It is not bolted together. I think I need to get some stillies on this. Okay, so that's the, uh, the finished pump. I know, it's not a, uh, an amazingly complex project, is it? But uh, here we go, should, um, sh should work, should be a little bit reliable if it does work. And, uh, you know, it's not gonna win any races, but uh, hopefully be a little bit quicker than uh, pumping by hand. Let's, uh, 
Let's power it up and see what it does. Well, I'm not going to pretend to uh, be proud of how well I've lined up these shafts, but um, uh, in all honesty, I don't really care and uh, it doesn't really matter that much, but um, you know, I suppose it's mildly annoying, isn't it? Bit dirty, but whatever, it'll work. Let's, uh, let's try and pump some oil. This could get messy quickly. Uh, this is the whole reason I wanted to avoid having the heater in the shed in the first place. Uh, and now I'm experimenting with bowels of the stuff in here and a pump. Right. Coming. Sounds like it's coming. Squelchy, squelchy. Don't really want to take my eyes off it. Yeah. Now the camera's covered in the stuff. The floor's covered in the stuff. Oh. Yeah, you really got to start questioning your life, life decisions when uh, when you're making this this much of a mess, isn't it? Um, I suppose. I met fellas that have uh, oh, I've only just got a look at used engine oil and they'll get you know their dermatitis will flare up. I guess I'm I'm lucky, didn't I? Huh? There's some blokes that are like that with um with concrete, aren't they? You know? Just got a just got to open a bag and they covered in sores and burns from the lime in that. Well, I'm very fortunate, except those guys are probably, uh, you know, sensitive ones will probably live a little bit longer, won't they? I guess. Don't they? I think I need to put new seals in my turkey baster because it's a uh, it's filling up both sides of the uh, filling up both sides of the plunger. There you go. Well, what a mess I'm making! <laughs> what a turn I... All right, all right. We've got a couple of litres of oil in the pipe to prime the fracking thing. Yeah. I have to try and figure out a way of transporting this that um, keeps the prime in it because this isn't this isn't an acceptable thing to do, is it really? Um, Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Well, we're pumping now. Well, uh, quite acceptable weight. Is it going to carry on picking up the oil? Yeah, she's a goer, lads. She's a goer. Nice. Nice. Let's see how quickly we get to the bottom of this 25 litre tub. Get this fucking thing out of the way, this fucking turkey base. I'm going to 
I'll get another one and fix this one, so I've got the dirty one and the clean one. I think that's a sensible plan, you know. It's a handy old thing. I mean, I've got it for doing, uh, you know, diffs and gearboxes and that, but I use it all the bloody time on stuff, you know. It makes life a lot cleaner, as you can see. <laughs> Rinsing through that. That's 20 litres. I think that's 20 litres as well. I don't know. That's only at 60 RPM. About a second per revolution. Thought it was a little bit faster than that, to be honest. Doesn't matter, I, I think this is still going at the same sort of speed I would be by hand. Can't see the oil level, can you? I thought I'd pick, pick one of the buckets of uh, one of the clear buckets because uh, you'll be able to see what's going on then. But <laughs> you know, you put waste oil in something and suddenly, oh, there we go, we're empty. Done. Okay. Well, let me get all the shit off my hands and turn the pump off. Okay, so there's my uh, where's my oil pump anyway? My dirty oil transfer pump. Yeah. Um, not going to win any races, but uh, I suppose I can have a cup of tea whilst I'm robbing people's waste engine oil, isn't it? Eh? Um, you know, maybe I should take biscuits to say thank you for all the oil. Uh, uh, so what? Um, I wasn't. I was, I was just going to knock this up and not really make a video about it, but uh, I, I expect I've done a nicer job because I videoed it. That's, that's normally the uh, the run of things. Uh, if I just make something in a rush, um, be even nastier than that, you know. Um, I am. I am working on a uh, a bit of a refinery outside. I've got my uh, IBC stacked up and putting some tank fittings in them for. For various other purposes um, other than just draining and filling um, won't be able to circulate uh, but I suppose the the interest I've got now is um, after having stuck some oil in my car uh, waste engine oil in my fuel tank um, when we had a bit of a fuel shortage a couple of months ago um, just to get me to work and back uh, what well, I'm start I'm starting to think if I had a you know, several tons of old engine oil. You know, I've, I've obviously built their shed heater. Um, you'll get a little update on that shortly. Um, or maybe I'll go back to forge, um, uh, casting with the stuff because uh, that's how I started off messing around with waste oil when you know uh, started chatting with oil burner uh, many moons ago, and I, I gave up on it because I couldn't deal with the waste and uh, the, the the mess I was making. You know, because I was making videos at work at the time, isn't it? Um, you know, and we actually had a waste oil heater there, isn't it? a commercially manufactured one, isn't it? So, um, yeah. But either way, yeah, if I can, if I can get enough of, enough oil to, to fill those tubs up and, you know, get a better way of filtering it, I'm, I'm looking at centrifuges and that. Uh, and it, this is all low priority stuff, you must understand, because obviously the bunker takes priority, but um, what, what uh, yeah, you know, it's something nice to look at. You know, I could be off grid in the dirtiest possible way if I have a uh, nice big, uh, nice big gen set running on waste engine oil. <laughs> but it's kind of ecologically friendly, isn't it? Hey, yeah. it's making use of waste, it's recycling, and I'm not using the um, the national grid power, am I? Like, um, yeah. Maybe I can apply for some sort of grant. Yeah. Anyway, uh, right. Hopefully, I've got some bits to finish my other project soon, and um, 
Uh, I'll catch you all again soon, eh? Uh, Alright, hope you enjoyed the oil pump and uh, yeah, take it easy, folks. Bye bye.